there's one form that gets sellers into trouble most, it's probably the Community Association Disclosure Form. Why? Because if you don't include every fee on this form, you're probably going to have to pay it yourself at closing. The most commonly missed fee is the letter the association provides the attorney at closing. That fee can be nominal or substantial. So get a representative from the HOA to send this to you in writing and ask them if there are any other fees that we need to disclose to the buyers. Most of this is pretty straightforward. You get this information from the HOA and plug it into the form. However, there are a few notable questions that are easy to miss. Number five is the field that should include the cost of the transfer letter. The HOA representative should provide the entire cost of the transfer and you enter it here. In six and seven, be sure to check only the services and fees that apply. HOA fees are a big deal to a lot of buyers and you want to make sure that those fees definitely do cover everything you check in these two sections. If you're not sure, don't check the box. In eight and nine, just check the answers that apply. The not option is often the correct answer. All of section B is basically a glossary. Feel free to study it if you need clarification of terms. Then on the right side of the signature section, sign in the space is provided. A lot of sellers accidentally sign in the buyer section and have to redo the form. You'll find out that HOAs provide the data to homeowners for the forms a lot, so they should know what to include. Once it's filled out and signed, it's not a bad idea to send it to the person who provided the data and check it for accuracy.